Um, during the pre-shuffle, I wanted to show you something here. Mountain in reverse came out for you, Divine Feminine. Mountain in reverse. And you can see there are two different colors of the mountain. Beneath the surface, I'm going to turn this the upright way. Beneath the surface, the mountain is a different color, right? Um, it's in color. Um, above the surface is black and white. Maybe there's something here that you don't see that I feel like it's getting ready to be revealed. There could have been some blockages, and I'm going to tell you why somebody may have decided to try and block something here but i feel like you have an elder or an ancestor that are looking out for you or protecting you from this mountain i when the mountain in reverse energy came out it's energy of standing your ground you guys have been feminine you've been standing your ground about a certain situation and you're not changing your mind you're standing on business and you're doing what you feel like you, that needs to be done we have arrow energy here when i split the deck with the seer which is like the high priestess energy again Somebody may have tried to block your intuition uh, because this says arrow surround yourself with protective energy and see beyond the current situation. So y'all might have just like realized or found out or something was revealed to you here that somebody was sending you negative energy. That energy is being blocked. Okay, you are protected, but continue to protect yourself however you see fit. Okay, whatever it is y'all do. Calling for your prote your protection. Take a salt bath. Cleanse your energy with some sage. All right. What do we have for divine feminine? What do they need to know? Star ancestor. So you are a star ancestor, or you may have some ancestors. Um, you know, like we all do have ancestors, but like an ancestor watching over you and praying for you because that was the energy i got with the mountains in reverse it was like an elder or an ancestor is blocking something here follow the voice of your soul so you could be you're being guided right now divine feminine to listen to your spirit guides if or if you have like someone that's passed away uh or a guardian angel coming to you in your dreams um, listen to that because I feel like they're trying to tell you something. They're trying to show you something that is beyond the surface, something that you cannot see on the outside. OK, and you may not even realize here, too, that you have some form of power. And this star ancestor energy is also energy of like to recharge yourself. Divine feminine, you might need to go out and gaze at the stars or go, go get you some sunlight. That's what this energy talks about. Um, let me see. I'm pretty sure that is the, here we go. Um, he, the message is coming directly from your soul. Okay. So something is being revealed to you here. It says a star ancestors is a term for extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to the healing and growth of the world. So divine feminine, you are somebody who is a star seed and you are dedicated. You're, you're here to fulfill some sort of purpose that is related to healing and, um, the growth of the world. It says these incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the other stars. I believe that is because um, they are remembering their starry connections and those are what this card represents the star ancestor is reminding you that you have other worldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you're willing to be helped they can support you in connecting with and following your soul's deepest calling Ooh, feminine so you are protected and your angels and your spirit team is sending you some some sort of message they're trying to show you something we have here medicine mother honor your inner knowing yeah they're trying to you trust your intuition okay they're trying to guide you somewhere i could be talking to somebody here who heals through their cooking or like you you could be an herbalist or a medicine woman of some sort here you could come from like a long line of women women who like or feminines who gardened or um grew herbs or like healer with herbs of some sort Show me more here for Divine Feminine. The Knight of Cups with the Six of Six of Swords. Oh, this is really the Six of Wands. I haven't used this deck in a while. 
This is my Game of Thrones deck. So I guess we're using this deck. I don't even know. I didn't even realize this was the Game of Thrones deck. So this is we're meant to use this for some reason. You do come from a line because, you know, um, what's this girl's name here? I forget her name, but she was like the one who owned the dragons. I should know her name by heart, child. I don't. But she was on the Game of Thrones and she was the mother of dragons. So she came from a bloodline basically of like royalty right but they tried to steal her throne and take her throne and and rightfully she did everything in her she fought back from any and everybody to get back on her path to get what's divinely hers and she did everything she could to get there too by any means necessary this is energy of following your heart here with the knight of cups and the six of spears like, don't be afraid to go get what's yours, okay? This is yours. This is your birthright. Show me Divine Feminine. Because she's on this white horse. Yeah, Spirit is saying exactly right. Don't be afraid to go get what's yours. Ace of Swords. That is the truth. The moon here. You're getting clarity. What was hidden in the dark has now become the light, right? So this is giving like maybe you don't know what type of bloodline you come from. Maybe you don't know you have high priestess in your blood or you come from a long line of like high priestesses or high priestess, right? Um, or you don't know that you come from a long line, uh, come from a, a, a family of medicine, healing women or feminines, right? Or you are like some sort of like extraterrestrial being. You have these gifts that you need to be sharing here. She's on this white horse, okay, which is a horse of like statute or like importance. Something's being illuminated. Your birthright might be illuminated for you right now. Show me more here for Divine Feminine. Let me move these cards up. Let me let me clarify this. Clarify the Six of Spears. Thank you. And that fell right on top of the Six of Spears. The world card. Yeah, this is yours. This is you for this is you to conquer. This was her going out to conquer the world and do whatever she needed to do. And nobody was going to stop her from getting in the way. You see, you're about to conquer all this stuff here. The world is like there's a map here. This is real cool. Dang, Divine Feminine, you're about to go conquer what's yours. You're about to go reclaim something. Or like if you didn't know it, you're realizing it, and then you're going to be conquering it. Queen of Swords on the... Yep. Conquering this. Taking back what's rightfully yours to you. Clarify the Six of Spears. You could be traveling and going somewhere. Nine of Swords. I feel like somebody or something wants to hold you back, keep you trapped, keep you stuck. With this nine of swords energy. Somebody does not want you to go do this. Clarify the six of spears. The eight of spears. And the eight of coins. It's not going to work though. It's not going to work. Bottom of the deck is the sun. The sun card. Leo energy. Child eight of swords. And the eight of pentacles. I feel like somebody here has been working day and night, mostly at night. Somebody here could be doing moon magic, magic at night, trying to send some some magic towards you or to block you from doing this or to keep you stuck. But that's not going to work here. Some you might even be getting some messages or some downloads to about what you do for your work or what you do for your purpose. What's this eight of spears? The devil. It's magic. It's somebody trying to block some shit. The devil. Capricorn energy. Hell yeah. They trying to send some shit towards you. Clarify this eight of coins. They're trying to do everything they can at night. Moon, moon magic of some sort. Six of cups energy. This They don't want you to find out your ancestral birthright or something here. Or somebody. Yeah. Clarify the six of cups. Somebody could have been doing this for a long time and you, were, you weren't aware of it. The chariot. It's removed though. It's blocked. You may not have known this was happening, but see here, this, you see that dragon? That is the dragon 
right? It was it Khaleesi or I forget her name. The girl that was the mother of the dragon. There goes her damn dragon saving the day. Okay. Somebody here could um Yeah, there's a victory here. <laughs> this is gonna be blocked. Okay, this is gonna be blocked. Clarify this uh Knight of Cups. The high priestess, that's you following your heart, trusting your gut. No, you know what's rightfully yours. Clarify this Knight of Cups. Uh-huh. Oh, something just went out of reverse. The Knight of the Knight of Wands in reverse. Let's see what this Knight of Wands in reverse is. Clarify the Knight of Wands. This wants to go in reverse. The page of um Page and wands. Child, somebody did not want you to follow your heart and trust your intuition and see something for what it damn was. That's what this is. Somebody was trying to block that. Show me this high priestess. Pisces energy. And this high priestess don't want me to tell y'all. Show me this high priestess. Two of spirits. Two of spears and the seven of coins. So this is a two of wands with the seven, the seven of pentacles, basically. Bottom of the deck is the death card. Yeah. Somebody wanted you to be waiting and waiting and waiting and sitting around and waiting. They didn't want you to get whatever this was, the death card. They wanted this. They didn't want you to see something for what it was. They wanted you to be scared and afraid, not trust and follow your heart. Yeah. Ace of cups, page of cups. They didn't want you to have this. They didn't want you to have this. Clarify the Ace of Spears. Um, that Ace of Spears is the Ace of Wands. So that definitely could have been the Moon Magic. I don't know why I called it the Ace of Swords, but again, I haven't used this deck in a long time. So that's just somebody doing Moon Magic here. Clarify this Ace of Spears. The Knight of Coins. Definitely could be divination. Clarify this Ace of Spears. Clarify this Ace of Spears. The Magician. Uh-huh. That's what this was. I feel like you've slowly been working on something here. Divine Feminine, you've been slowly working on manifesting something. You have a plan and you haven't been rushing that plan. Their hair finds here. Hold on a second. Now I see two two divine masculines under here. You might have a counterpart. This could be your counterpart that was doing this magic. Because now I'm seeing the emperor, the king of cups, the hair of fine, the five of the five of coins. Mm. Show me this moon energy, please. Show me the moon. The Seven of Wands is blocked in the Knight of Swords. Whatever this is, your, your spirit guides and your spirit team fought back. And they fought back hard and this was blocked. Okay, I just want you to know this. Um, it's like somebody tried to put a target on you. Because you see this X? Yeah, somebody tried to put a target on you. Five of Swords. That's really the five of wands. The spears are wands. I don't know why I keep saying that, but it's the same energy. Somebody was put a target on you. You see this X on this horse? And this is you minding your business. You don't look phased. You look very calm and cool and collected. And look at all of this. Okay? Look at all this energy. They're trying to send at you. The spirit kept blocking it. You're protected. You're a warrior. They cannot, I feel like these people cannot fuck with you. You are a warrior. So what's going to happen to these people? Let me switch to another day. What's going to happen to these people who, or this person, who came up against this divine feminine? Or who sent this energy towards this divine feminine? Or who was trying to block this divine feminine? What's going to happen to these people? 
King of Wands. What's going to happen? So this person could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. The wheel, they're going to get their karma for sure. <laughs> What's going to happen to these people? Everything they did to you is going to come back to them, by the way. You might even receive... Two of Wands, Temperance, Healing. I feel like karma is definitely coming back on this person or these people that tried to do this to you. But I'm going to just say this. I feel like you also might be receiving um, let me let me check real quick y'all. Give me a second. Clarify this page of wands because I feel like there's some good news coming here. Some good karma coming. Clarify this page of wands. Clarify page of wands. Yeah, this is good. Somebody here could be a Leo. Clarify this page of wands. Clarify the hermit. Mm -hmm. I mean, why did I say the hermit? Somebody could be a Virgo. Clarify the hair font. Three of swords in reverse. This is good, actually. So what's going to happen is you're going to be healing. You're getting ready to get a new counterpart here. There goes, yeah, you're healing. Somebody thought they blocked something. Something was over and it ended, but it's not. Okay, judgment was called on whoever this was. And somebody here changed for the better. Whoever you are, like, you could have, like, transmuted this energy. There's a lot of, like, self-love here. He a lot of healing energy. You're going to be getting a new counterpart, too, a new lover. This person could be a fire sign, okay, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the Three of Pentacles, um, the lovers, and they could be a Gemini or um, the Knight of Cups here or a water sign, yeah. So they're a part of their commas to watch you get everything with this wheel and this page of wands, this good news, watch you get your heart's desires and your wishes get fulfilled, basically. <sighs> and this is going to all be like... This is so funny to me. Yeah, you're moving on. Six of Swords, the calmer waters. What's going on with this King of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck? You got a new beginning with somebody else and happiness. Ooh, honey, look at this Divine Feminine. After somebody tried to block you or they ended something, Ten of Swords, and you were betrayed by another person or masculine, you, yeah, you could have been, or this masculine was. Somebody had a heartbreaking ending and this person wanted to block you, but look at you, Divine Feminine. This is you. This is your Ten of Cups, your happiness, your wish fulfillment, your joy, your peace, your happiness with the Sun card, your new beginning, um, the Fool, okay, with another masculine King of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, and you're moving the hell on, and that's just period, and that's just what's about to happen. So, I feel like there's somebody from the past here. Let me see. Show me more about this person from the past that did not want. No, Spirit of saying move dicks. Show me about this person from the past who was trying to block Divine Feminine. King of Cups in reverse. They could have been a water sign. Show me about this person who was trying to block Divine Feminine. Somebody's angry and upset with you. King of Wands. This King of Wands could, could be angry and upset with you. So this King of Wands is a person who's going to have to watch you. They're going to have to watch you move on with a King of Pentacles. Um, yeah, they're going to be angry. They're going to be pissed with this tower, with this Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody about to be real mad at you. Three of Swords. They don't want you to heal and move on. They want you to stay codependent on them. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person may even depend on your energy to heal. They were using your energy to heal, but instead you you held on to your own energy and you started giving that energy to yourself and you started doing your own healing work and saving and reserving that energy for you. Three of uh, Swords in reverse with this Ace of uh, Cups. But this person was dependent on you for your healing energy. 
And you took that back or you cut them off if you cut the cord. Show me this person that's angry with Divine Feminine. Show me this person that's angry with Divine Feminine. Yeah. Manipulative did magic. Now they're stuck in their head and they're about to be stressed out when they see you moving on here. Magic yeah, that magic is going to be sent back to them, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody could have done all kinds of work to do everything they could to stop you energetically or block you energetically for some unknown flipping reason. Yeah, they did. They were the one. But this is now judgment is being called upon this person for sending this energy to you. Eight of Wands. Look at this Five of Swords. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, the star in reverse, honey, this person don't want you to heal. King, there goes that king of swords with this three, three of cups in reverse. They want to try to keep you on a third party situation and they want to want you to stay stuck with them and, and them and other people too on top of that. They, yeah, they wanted you to be stuck. The hangman, the six of swords in reverse. What did they think that you was going to be? Yeah, they thought that you was going to hang on to this forever. Six of cups, six of pentacles in reverse and the wheel in reverse. They did not want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. They wanted you to stay stuck, stay involved in a third party situation. <laughs> not. It's a no. It's a no. While, they be, while they're involved with other people, this person didn't want you to see your power. Show me more here. This person knew your power. Yeah, this this is you moving on, trusting and going with the flow. You see this energy here, hands out, arms stretched. You're, you're surrendering, trusting, and going with the flow. And you're ready to move forward with this Wheel of Fortune and Page of Wands. This is good change. This is good news. This is the energy, the energy that you're in. You're free. You're ready to move. Like, you're just surrendering. You are surrendering, honey. I know that's right, Divine Feminine. Show me more. You're not going to take this person back. You're no longer attracted to them with attraction that just came out in reverse. You're no, you're not going to take this person back. Commitment and offer is here in reverse. You're not interested. Here goes that manipulative, controlling, toxic person who's going to come back towards you and say, please, I've changed. No, they have not changed. They haven't changed. I don't care what this person says to you. They're planning on talking to you. They're sending you energy for sure with this telepathic, but I don't feel like it's good energy. You're like I said, you're doing the work. You're showing yourself love. You're seeing this for what it is. And it, all it did was push you to love yourself more and treat yourself with more kindness, compassion, and respect and with more love and tenderness. And you're doing the spiritual healing and you're going through a spiritual awakening. All this person's attempts to block you was just... All it did was push you into realizing your power and knowing who you was. It pushed you to, to, to understand and learn more about um what your gifts were or who you you you're learning about that who you truly are standing in your power this person's not saying much right now uh, i feel like you're not saying much right now but this person is going to want to say something to you especially when they are forced to watch you go through this very beautiful ten of cups and um sun energy honey you're gonna be really 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 happy so i love y'all that's gonna be your reading i'm gonna leave it right there i'll see y'all later okay hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here bye